You know what's been really interesting for me about doing this role for so long? I didn't anticipate when I started how passionate people are about Batman. Because it's not like that for Superman or Wonder Woman or The Flash. It's different with Batman. And I think the reason is that because of all the superheroes, Batman is the only one who's actually not a superhero. He can't fly, he can't see through walls, he can't bend metal. He's a man. He's a very flawed man. And he knows he's flawed. We're all flawed, right? So it makes Batman that much more relatable because he's so much like us in a way. What distinguishes him is that no matter what life throws at him, no matter what crisis or challenge or failure, he takes that pain that life throws at him and he turns it into something positive because his whole mission is to leave the world better than he found it. And it's the nobility of that mission. That's what we admire so much about him. But that's something we can all aspire to in our lives. You don't have to have superpowers to want to give to the people in your life, to want to leave the world a better place. All you have to do is care enough to try. Everybody on this planet stumbles at one time or another. But that's not what defines us. What defines us is how we get back up. Life throws curveballs at everybody. You can let them crush you and make you bitter. Or you can learn from them. You have no control over what fate throws at you. You don't know what's coming tomorrow or next month. And I tell you, when you face those challenges, you realize really quickly what's truly important. Your family. The people you work with. The people you come in contact on a daily basis. The people in our lives. That's what it's about. So I want you to never stop believing in yourself. And keep giving to the world. Because the world needs you. And remember, Batman has always got your back.